Hello and good day to you. My name is Nathan and this is Limping Through Models with me, Nathan, and my son Will apparently. Today is part number three of my HO scale barn build here. I'm going to be working on the trim, putting that on the structure, working on the windows, and working on the barn doors and the shutters and the cupola on the top of the roof. Putting that all together, getting it ready for the final installment next week. So with all that in mind, let's get started. So I'm going to start today's video with a bit of a debrief on my method that I use to paint the trim pieces. While it worked well spray painting the pieces with the edges exposed, one thing I didn't take into consideration is the actual sponging method I used to paint these pieces. While it looks great from the top down, the problem is those edges that I intended to cover with paint never really got covered because of the nature of the, the sponging. Uh, they got covered fine when I spray painted them with the primer, but that's only part of the process. So I think for future reference, I'm going to start with the base color of my trim first, spray paint everything on that trim piece so I do get the edges, and then use a spongy method or some other method to age that trim, if I choose to age that trim, so that I know that I have coverage on the edges. So much in the same way as the walls, I start on the end that has the piece of wood sticking out of the top of the roof so that I have a guideline for the trim pieces. And I just work that trim down to the edges, make sure everything is secure against the face of the wall. And when I'm happy with that, I go ahead and move on to the other parts of the wall. So this is the front of it with the trim in its proper place. And here's the end result of all the wall trim including both ends and the sides of the wall where there were tiny strips that go on each corner. So now it's time to put the trim on the windows. This kit comes with a piece of clear plastic that has pre-cut windows in it. So what I decided to do was take the window trim that's in the trim sheet and affix those directly to that plastic sheet. Once all the trim has been affixed to the clear plastic, that's when I cut out the pieces and set those aside to be installed later. Now that all the window pieces are out of its plastic screw, there's a second framing portion of the window that needs to be attached to the fronts of these windows. And this serves two purposes. Number one, it serves the purpose of being that outer framing that you normally see in windows. And number two, it also has a backing that sticks out far enough from the edges that you can use that alone to affix it to the walls. And there's the first window of this barn, looking pretty good. It's now time to add the additional window trim piece to the windows that go on the sides of the barn. And now all those windows are in as well. A very clean process without any glue. I love it. Now it's time to do some more painting. This time around we have parts of the barn door, uh, parts to the cupola that go on top of the barn, and then shutters that go into the loft area of the barn. And to do this I'm going to use a paint stick and some masking tape. Now with the masking tape I'm going to affix that to the paint stick, outward facing so the sticky side is up. I was really worried that I wasn't going to have enough room for all the pieces on this one side of the stick, but to my surprise, everything fit. Just barely too. 
but that's okay. So now it's time to do the paint job that I did on the walls in the uh, last episode where I sponge on the base coat. Take a wire brush to the wood to rough up the paint. And then finish it off with some brown agent. I do a test match to see how it looks and decided I needed to put some more wire brush into it. Now I think I might have been a little premature on that because it was darker as the brown agent was probably still wet and still sopping into the wood. And that's another thing with the agent here because these pieces are so small there was some warping that happened. So once I get these trim pieces on the shutters that go to the loft area, I'm going to have to weigh it down using a flat part of a brush and some paint that I had lying around. So now it's time to try to put together this whole cupola thing. And truth be told, I had to go look up the official word for this uh, apparatus. And once I have all those pieces together, I take the trim that's on the sheet and affix that to the various parts of the cupola. Now truth be told, this cupola probably should have matched the color of the trim considering most of the pictures I've seen of cupolas when I was looking up how to say the word cupola to begin with. But, you know, hindsight's 2020, and this footage has been in the can for a few weeks now, so I'm not going to change it. I am limping through this model, remember? For the most part, the trim pieces fit on this cupola pretty well. I did have some trouble. It was a little tight in some areas, but... With, a, with some extra finagling, I was able to wiggle these pieces together. One peculiar thing about this kit is that the roof of the cupola was a part of the trim sheet. So I had to fold it over a couple times to get it to come together, all four sides. But after that, there wasn't really any good way to affix that, so I just decided to gloop in a bunch of white glue on the inside of the roof in hopes that eventually over time it would harden and bring the roof pieces together. To attach the roof to the top of the cupola, I decided to use gravity and just glob a whole bunch of glue on the inside of that roof in hopes that it would drip down to the base of the cupola and attach itself to the roof. I had the barn door sitting in a clamp to the side of the workbench in an effort to flatten them because the weathering bowed the doors. And once they got to a point where they were flat and I was happy with it, I started to put the trim pieces on these doors. Now that all the barn doors and the shutters have the trim that they need, it's time to attach these to the barn themselves, starting with the shutters that go to the loft. So I just glob a little wood glue on the back and attach them to the wall. I mean, come on, there's not really anything special about that. But at least it's starting to look like the pictures, and I call that an absolute win. Now the next stop in Nathan's neglected to paint tour is the tracks that the barn doors sit in that would facilitate the opening and closing of the doors on the front and back. So I do a quick little job where I just sponge the front and back of these with brown and then attach them to the fronts and back of the barn.
Now it's time to attach the barn door. So on the front, the doors are going to be open so that you can see into the barn. And the back, I intend to have the barn doors close. In having these doors closed in the back, there wasn't really much real estate to play around with to affix the door to the wall. So I had probably about less than an eighth of an inch of available space, but I was able to make it work. And now we have the trim, the windows, and the barn doors all affixed to the body of the barn. Hey, did you like that video? Oh, yeah. You did? You know what you can do? You can you can comment on it. Oh, yeah. You can like it. Is it? And you can subscribe to my channel. What do you mean you don't have a YouTube account yet? <laughs> but yeah, I guess, I mean, you're two, so. That, that, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that. Anyway, come back next week. It's the final part of the HO scale barn build. We're gonna take care of the roof. We're gonna take care of weathering. It's gonna be a good time. And my son is exposing all my secrets here. So I gotta get him out of here. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm, that's a roof. That's another roof. Yeah. Now it goes right there. Good job.